What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and this is a, an emergency video. I actually recorded a ton of videos today to get ready for the weekend. There's going to be a lot of videos on the channel. I thought I was all done, and then all of a sudden, this news, bam, hits us. Now, I know you guys aren't getting a notification for this video, uh, so I really do appreciate you guys watching. Now, help this video share, though. Sh uh, ha you know, Share a like, share a comment on this video. Let's get this uh, around here, because this is massive news and not something I expected uh, to see uh, just in the middle of the day. Margot Robbie is going to star in a new Pirates of the Caribbean movie for Disney. So this is going to be her along with her Birds of Prey writer, and they're going to be making a brand new Pirates movie that is separate from the one already going on. Now, everybody talking about this is still saying, actually, it's kind of divided. They're saying the, the reboot. They're saying like Pirate 6. Basically, the one that the Chernobyl writer and also Ted Elliott is working on, Jerry Bruckheimer is producing it. Also, the fact that Jerry Bruckheimer said, you know, we don't know what Johnny's role is going to be in that. That movie is still there. That movie is still going to be uh, happening, you know, again, with or without Johnny Depp, hopefully, and we've all said it before, hopefully it's with, but they've already taken steps now to be doing a brand new, uh, basically to expand the franchise. Now, again, this is massive. Uh, this is not something I thought, you know, we had all attached Karen Gillan to it. Now, the question is, when we've heard these rumors of this female-led spinoff movie, is this what that was? I know technically, like I just said, it may not be. There could technically be this new Pirates movie, again, by the Chernobyl writers with Giant Up in it, that would maybe star a female-led pirate, maybe Karen Gillan, maybe somebody else, but Giant Up would be in it. It would be the goodbye to Jack. It would be Pirate 6, right? That could still very much be happening, but now we have a movie built from the ground up with Margot Robbie, who I think is really, really good. She's a, I think she's a very, very good actress. Obviously brought Harley Quinn to life in a lot of other roles, but I think she does Harley Quinn extremely, extremely well, and I would absolutely, and I, I already have, sign me wherever you want me to sign up, have me sign up for this film. This is exciting. Now, does this mean that the movie is automatically going to be good? No. I mean, Birds of Prey was a decent enough film. It didn't really make a lot of money. Uh, obviously, this is a very, very different kind of film altogether. But this is uh, interesting, again, for the fact that they're expanding this franchise fast, which is weird to say because in all reality, it wasn't fast. I mean, it took them all this time to then start to think of doing spin-off movies. Now, this is going to be a wholly original tale with new characters like the original Pirates films. The movie will take inspiration from the iconic attraction at Disneyland and Disney World. So again, built from the ground up, new characters, but in the Pirates universe. So I wonder if that means like literally this is going to be forgetting all about Jack or will we actually hear about it? Again, when we talk talk about building Pirates movies, which we talked about in the past on this channel, I think it's wise to keep it in that universe. Now, again, they, they don't technically, I mean, the, the information is a little muddy, but it says wholly original tale. So when I read that, I sadly think like brand new, like nothing to do with Pirates of the Caribbean doesn't have to have supernatural elements to it. You know what I mean? I feel like that is kind of the avenue. Like, I, I'm not saying like it won't have supernatural elements, but I feel like that could be like just taking out, you know, Davy Jones, Davy Jones never happened. Jack Sparrow never happened. You know, Will and, and Elizabeth and all that stuff never happened. But this is incredible. I honestly, I don't really know how many times I can say that. Probably at least like five more times in this video. But it is exciting to see a franchise that we know can make so much money. It really can. It always has been able to make so much money. And now to finally realize like, hey, we can do other stuff. We don't just need to. And, and again, this is actually going to put to the test, even if Pirate, because again, this the, the Jerry Bruckheimer and Jerry Bruckheimer, by the way, is the, the comicbook.com one doesn't say it, but I think the Hollywood Reporter, Jerry Bruckheimer, is on to produce this. So Jerry Bruckheimer is still attached to this Pirates movie. But again, this is just a good sign for a franchise that whether or not that sixth movie, if it's six, if it's a reboot, no matter what, if it's going to have Johnny Depp, well, then obviously it will, right? And that's an exciting thing. But if it doesn't, maybe that would be the first one to put to the test. But then this one, I think, really will. Because in all honesty, I really every day that goes by, I really do believe Johnny Depp will be in that Pirate 6 movie. I absolutely believe that will happen. So as the time goes on, I really think this Margot Robbie one would be the first one to say, okay, can we do Pirates of the Caribbean without Jack, without Johnny Depp? Not just that, but basically this is the reboot, right? Starting brand new from scratch with a... You 
you know, brand new, like an, an actress, right, leading, uh, you know, having the leading role. Can we do it? I think, honestly, they can. As I've always said, I really do believe movies, this Pirates franchise, can survive without Johnny Depp, can survive without Jack Sparrow. Do we want Jack in the, in the sixth movie to say goodbye to him? Absolutely. But does that mean the franchise has to just stop right there and we can never have more adventures, Pirates of the Caribbean related? No. And, uh, you know, again, if this movie is going to be, you know, entirely original, entirely different, and the supernatural stuff and any of that stuff hasn't happened, can you really even call... That's going to be the most interesting thing, is if it's basically being called Pirates of the Caribbean, just to call it that, just to kind of link it to something that's popular that way, maybe they can kind of just bank off of that, right? Because if the movie sucks, well, at least it's still a Pirates movie, and you know, you're going to make a little bit of money from that. You know what I mean? It'll be interesting to see if that's how it ends up going, you know, about, but I really think uh, this movie stands a really good chance. I think that's a fantastic starting actress. You know, again, the writing, Birds of Prey, I mean, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm up for anything. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm one to give people second chances. I'm one to see where they can go with a movie like Pirates, right? New Minds. We've had New Minds in Pirates. We had New Minds for Pirates 4. We had New Minds for Pirates 5. Obviously, those were not the greatest, uh, you know, achievements ever put together. But again, if these franchises are to continue, if Pirates is to continue, you got to have new people. You can't just have, uh, you know, I, I mean, I guess you can, but eventually they're going to get too old. Eventually they'll retire. Eventually they'll want to do different things. And again, it's do you want to just retire the franchise because of that? Or is this a franchise that it's got so much going for it? It's got so much potential and so many other stories with other characters, with other environments, with other situations to explore. Can it still work? I think the answer is absolutely yes. So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Are you excited about this new Pirates movie? Do you think Margot Robbie can pull it off? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel, Podcast Now. Have the bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. And obviously, uh, more Pirates, the better for me, for this channel, for us. So as new stuff comes out, Pirates related, you can bet I'll be covering it right here on Podcast Now, okay? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next video.